Martini Shot is brought to you by Cushy Dreams, the smokable CBD. Stay tuned for a special offer. This is Rob Long with Martini Shot. We've got a new president of the United States. In case you missed it, there was a big show last week with Lady Gaga and a few others. I mean, there's so much on television these days, it would be perfectly understandable if you missed it. Now, it's slightly more likely, thanks to the new administration, that someone in the new administration will actually hear these words. Mostly because it's slightly more likely that someone in the new administration knows how to listen. So on the chance that the new president has just tuned in, first, hi, and second, I thought I'd share some show business wisdom with you, Mr. President, because politics and show business, as we all know, are pretty similar. The old saying is that politics is show business for ugly people, and that's true, but I'd also add that, as your predecessor has taught us, the differences between show business and the presidency are getting harder and harder to identify. So, Mr. New President, let me offer some show business-related advice. About halfway through any writing project, I always have the same thought. This isn't going to work. Why do they go to the restaurant in the second act? Why does the dad tell the daughter about the life insurance? Who answers the phone when they're all in the scene at the supermarket? And also, who's watching the baby? Now, you could almost always wave off some of the more arcane details that threaten to unravel the entire story. I mean, look, if the audience is asking itself how the letter with the job offer got to the character so quickly, then you've got bigger problems than a simple FedEx envelope in the frame can solve. It's the same with continuity. Continuity is the industry term for stuff in the frame that stays continuous. So if the actor is wearing a hat in one angle, he'd better be wearing it in all of the other angles in the scene, even though the scene is shot over two or three days and the hat itches and the actor keeps taking it off between setups. Unless it's supposed to be a magic hat, which brings up other problems, like maybe spend five more minutes on the magic hat idea. Once we were working on a scene with a studio executive who had a real passion for continuity. So in a dinner table scene, when we were recklessly mixing takes to achieve what we thought was the mission, which is a fast, funny dinner table sequence, he only saw the knife and fork in the foreground which mysteriously shifted to the left a few inches with each cut. What is this, he asked, a haunted house? Now, we countered by using the excuse that everyone uses when they've sacrificed perfect continuity for an overall better scene. Hey, if they're watching the knife and fork, we're dead anyway. But babies, babies are different. Babies need to be watched at home, which means that in any family scene with a baby, if all of the characters are suddenly called over to, I don't know, the hospital or the pizza place or wherever the story calls them, you always need to be thinking about the baby. Who's watching the baby? Which character isn't in the scene? And how do you convey that in dialogue? Because someone will notice. People always notice how babies are supervised or not, I've discovered. And they will write letters. Lots and lots of letters. Once a long time ago, when I was a writer on the ancient and almost forgotten comedy Cheers, we all came back to the writer's room in a state of high satisfaction. We had spent the past few days doing heavy surgery on a troubled script, and we had just seen the run-through. And it was perfect. It was funny. It was fast. It was unexpected. The whole cast utilized in a classic second-act block comedy scene set in an airport, I think. In other words, a triumph. After two late-night rewrites, it was a pleasure to come back to the office, sink into the sofa, and take a deep, relieved breath. Until someone asked this question. Hey, who's watching the bar? See, the whole cast was in the last scene at the airport, which meant that no one was watching the bar, which was the Cheers equivalent of the baby, which meant letters, which meant we had to leave at least one of the characters back at the bar, which meant that that character's lines and actions need to be reassigned, which threw off the clockwork engineering the final scene, a small thread pulled, a whole script unraveled another late night. Mr. President, it's the little stuff that will pull you down. It only takes one card to collapse the house. You come back from a run-through, and you think you're out of the woods, and then some idiotic detail ruins your dinner plan. So, Mr. President, here's my advice. Think big picture. Go for major stuff. Keep your eye on the big story you're telling. Ignore the knife and fork when you can. But always know who's watching the baby. And that's it for this week. Next week, we'll come up with New New Year's wishes. For Martini Shot, this is Rob Long.
We thank Cushy Dreams for sponsoring Martini Shot. The world today is nuts, and just when it seems like things are getting better, we're hit with even more reasons to be anxious and uncomfortable, and that is where our friends at Cushy Dreams can help. Cushy Dreams specializes in high-quality, smokable CBD, and CBD has been shown to help with anxiety, depression, inflammation, even pain relief, and more. And smoking CBD gets it into your system right away, so you don't have to wait long for the effects. Cushy Dreams' extraordinary CBD-rich hemp flower comes in 8-ounce cans and pre rolls joints. It is cannabis that ships discreetly to you and directly to all 50 states. They offer indica and sativa strains that deliver effects like relax, create, hustle, peace, energy, and dream. Uh, CBD has been shown to be incredibly valuable for a whole lot of things. I mean, not just the creams and not just the ointments and the oils, but also smoking it. Uh, it as you know, I am a smoker. I like smoking cigars, I like smoking pipes. Um, and this is a a uh, great way to get your CBD, and I um, I'm thrilled that their 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 product is there, and that they are supporting us. Um, because whether you want to smoke beautiful bud or pre rolls, Cushy Dreams has you covered. Their popular pre roll joints are rolled in organic hemp paper and feature an even slow burn. And pre rolls are now available in five packs. With Cushy Dreams, experience the therapeutic benefits of CBD with full flower, full spectrum, and full flavor. Look, we know you're sick of carts and vapes and gummies. I mean, come on. That's, it's not, it's a can. What are you doing? It's like candy. I, uh, vapings, whatever. But if you want to smoke your CBD, you can now and enjoy all of the health benefits of cannabis without getting high. Because the flower looks, smells, and tastes like high-quality marijuana, and every run is a limited small batch. It's always organic. Independent lab tests, which show compliance and purity, are available on their website all the time. And it contains under 0.3% of THC, so you get high-quality CBD bud, and then you can fight back against anxiety and, you know, the news. And that that is the one great, the, what's the one great benefit to uh, CBD and Cushy Dreams in general, is that we know the news is not going to stop, but this is one way we can kind of slow it down a little bit. Uh, so go to CushyDreams.com, K-U-S-H-Y, that's Cushy Dreams. All one word, K-U-S-H-Y, dreams.com. Check out, you use the promo code ROB, that's easy to remember, for 20% off your next order. You can smoke your CBD and get you 20% off with the promo code ROB. And we thank Cushy Dreams for not only making a great product, but for sponsoring Martini Shot. 